Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. This morning's low of 33 in Beaumont was a good 20 degrees below normal. Look at what happens as we head towards Thursday. Could see lows near 70 with highs in the lower 80s. So a big warming trend is on the way to Southeast Texas. First off, unfortunately, tree pollen remains very high right now, but it's lower than Friday. And we've got moderate levels of weed pollen and grass pollen. Mold is lower than what we saw Friday. So Tuesday, we should be near normal as far as high temperatures, which is about 74 to 76. These are the highs forecast through the next seven days. And as you can see, we rise into the 80s, and that's a good uh, five plus degrees warmer than normal right on through the end of the week, this weekend and into early next week. Low temperatures, a little bit below normal coming up tonight. Then after that, could be a good 10 to 15 degrees above normal through Friday and then a little bit closer to normal by Saturday because of a front on Friday and it's right back up to above normal temperatures as we head towards Sunday and Monday as far as low temperatures. As you can see, normal lows in the mid 50s this time of year. So looks like rain is out of the forecast coming up Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Pretty good chance coming up on Friday. We'll go to 70% coverage. Some storms could be severe primarily up in the lakes area and a slight chance coming up Sunday and Monday for a possible front. Not real convinced that that second one is going to make it through the area. See all the brown? Look at the scale. Look how dry the atmosphere is right now. See that? Now as we put this into motion, tomorrow's going to be a big transition day to much higher humidities and moisture level really going up coming up as we head towards uh, late tomorrow afternoon. So moisture moving back in and you'll probably go from the heater this morning to air conditioning probably tomorrow night. If not tomorrow night, then Wednesday. It's all due to this next disturbance that's in the eastern Pacific. This is our next storm system. This storm system will head towards LA and then to the desert southwest into Texas. Show you the modeling. Coming on in, and as you can see, then it heads off towards the northeast, reaches, uh, say, the panhandle by, say, Thursday, dragging that front coming in on Friday, uh, Thursday night into Friday in uh, southeast Texas. You'll see that on the extended forecast. So tonight, the low temperature will probably occur around midnight. I think we could get down into the mid 40s. This is not picking it up. I think we'll get down into the lower 50s. This model is way too warm, in my opinion, even though we have southeasterly winds and cloudy skies. Now, after midnight towards morning, daybreak, temperatures may actually increase. And uh, we do not expect any rain tomorrow as the flow will be off the Gulf of Mexico. We're expecting partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies as temperatures reach the uh, lower 70s across the area. Wind's going to be gusty tomorrow at 25, maybe 30 mile per hour wind gusts. That means choppy seas, choppy to rough seas on the Gulf tomorrow, so exercise caution. Those seas will be three to five, some isolated and occasional six foot seas out there. We'll see southeast winds at 20 to 25 knots. Water temperature way down to 58 degrees. Our forecast tonight, cloudy skies, 15 to 20 degrees warmer than this morning, which was in the 20s in the lakes and the 30s in the triangle. We'll go with um, low temperature tonight around midnight in the mid 40s in the lakes and the lower 50s here in the triangle. Then tomorrow, a windy day. It'll be mostly cloudy to partly sunny, windy and warmer, highs in the lower 70s. Even warmer weather is expected Wednesday and Thursday, near 80 on Wednesday. Thursday, we're at 83, and again, windy weather out outside over the next several days ahead of our front coming in on Friday. That rain may last through uh, Friday afternoon, and again, there could be some severe weather with this. Otherwise, a quick cool down Saturday, back up uh, to southeasterly winds, and a slight chance coming up Sunday as the clouds come back in, and again, not real confident on this next front on Monday. May not make it. We'll show a little bit of a reduction in temperatures Tuesday, but uh, after that, Wednesday and Thursday, a week out, looking at um, very mild temperatures and a slight chance of showers. So no big cold outbreaks expected through the next 10 days. Download our app. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. And as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.